expression. Massively different. So, guys, this is going to be Kanitsugame. We're going to jump in. And thank you again, Capcom. You're an absolute legend. This always refreshes. So, yeah. I might have to change my overlay because, well, I get uh, used to everyone, um, where everything is. Um, okay, so at the start here, we can prioritize quality or performance. I'm going to get quality so that you guys, I mean, it's probably scaled down on Twitch anyway. But, uh, yeah. So, I can't see the pattern. Okay, we can barely see the pattern. There you go. There's a reason for this because the game is played in nighttime and daytime. So, uh, daybreak and sundown. Yeah, that's what they call daybreak and sundown. Uh, adjust the center symbol is barely visible. Please enter my age. Oh, guys. I try to go backwards, and that's how old I am. There you go, 39. 39, guys. So you know it's all legit now. You know I'm generally 39. Has anyone played this? Has anyone picked the game up? Has anyone picked the demo up of Kunitsugame? Uh, this is the autosave thing, by the way. So don't mess around. The extras menu has been added to the main menu. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, guys, the collaboration, when the demo came out, uh, Capcom asked all players to um, find the special hammers that were situated in the game in the demo. Uh, there was 15 to find, uh, well there's more than 15, but it was basically post 15 of these onto this thread. Um, they did it straight away, all the players did it straight away, so they smashed that goal. And then it, I think it was like, was it 2 billion or 2 million orbs? I think it was 2 million orbs, I think it was. Um, so that's how we got this uh, Akami costume, which is the collaboration. And this is how we got the Wacker costume for Yoshiro. Oh, Thunder Edge. Thunder Edge was the one for the uh, for the hammer. And then we've got some original soundtrack music. So here's the extras. We could change the appearance. This is so Soa. So? I think it's So it's pronounced. Atkins, welcome in, man. Welcome in. Hope you had a great day. Oh, I've had a really, really busy day. I've had a really, really busy day. Um, but uh, I, I, watched some, I was watching some Tekken on e the Evo that is this weekend. It was on YouTube, so I was watching some Tekken, uh, Tekken 8, watching people how to play it properly, not the way I'll play it. Um, but yeah, yeah. And I'm home tonight as well. And I'm home tonight, so I could do some supporting. If anyone's streaming today, I'll be in your streams after the stream. This won't be a long stream. This will just be like a uh, messing around with the camera, which we've kind of done, but we're going to mess around with it again uh, if we get some feedback from anyone watching. I can't do anything about the thing in the back, okay? We, I've, I've got an, I've got another light somewhere. I could probably have it shining at the back. But, uh, yeah, welcome in, guys. Welcome in. So this is Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess by Capcom. Uh, because of the bonus, we've, we've, we've got these options here to change... Um, the things here. So we've got the, the the samurai sword, the katana, or we've got the thunder edge, which we can use that as so as weapon. But we're gonna keep it as it is, okay? And we also can change the original music to Akami music. I have never played Akami. I just know about them with the collaborations that Capcom, obviously both Capcom games, that they do with um, Monster Hunter. You're zoomed out. I'm, that's the thing. It is a uh, it's a thing. I'm using the face cam uh, Mark II, dude. Tale of the goddess. And the field of view is like insane. The raging torrent of this world is unending. I didn't have it. The I didn't have it with the uh, like the C920. Like does, it, does it look better? Does it look better zoomed out? Live their pitiful lives not knowing when they will be caught. Yet if I believe in the great mountain goddess and devote myself unto her, yeah, there's that. The villagers shall have my room's bigger than this, but yeah, it does. Once more. I don't know. Opens it up. I'm, I'll mess around. I'll look at this. I'll look at this back, and I'll mess around with the, with the background. TS Villa now with window. <laughs> what I don't like, though, I don't like two seconds. Out 
Right, I am in enjoy with this game, by the way, guys. Okay? I don't know everything about this game. I did get to see a preview of it before it came out, but that doesn't mean I know everything about the game. So we're gonna we're gonna learn it all together. We're gonna remember what everything's called. These are called the Seath. These monsters. And we have to purge what this is called the defilement of these villages. But the monsters only come out at night time, guys. Which is like in real life. This is Yoshiro. I butcher the names, by the way, guys. It's probably like Yoshiro. I say Yoshiro. There's a lot of dancing in this and drums, but not like the drums in college football, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'll go into more detail about that. These are like a, a ritual dances. Here's, here's So or Soa. I think it's So. But please correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows how to pronounce it. Okay, so head to the summit. Okay, so we're gonna constantly control this character, okay guys? Can you hear the you can hear the game, right yeah? Can you hear the game? I'm only asking because I've just changed changed the set. Anyone in chat? I'll jump into the thing. Yeah, okay, you can hear the game. Right, sorted. Sorry, guys. Just checking. Okay, so this is our character. This is our main character, right? So, when you talk about strategy and tower defense kind of games, you're placing down different characters placing out different characters and then watching the computer do the work as you've placed them down on the map. On this game, you've got that aspect, but you've also got this character here that you can run around. You can run around and combat, which to me is a massive, massive upgrade, okay? Okay, so we can change the camera by using, so we can go zoom in and out, in and out if we want to get a better FOV, like my camera here. Exit jump, and then we're just going to Triangle's a dance attack, so it does that kind of like, it's like a heavy attack. So square's like a light attack, and then triangle. Oh, horrible noise. Listen to the, hear their noises. Okay. That's the first part. Okay, wall jump. We can wall jump, like you see there. As long as we're going to stay uh, part of the environment. There is more to this game than just this guy's hacking and slashing his way, by the way, guys. L3 to dodge is a bit. This, this takes a lot of time to get used to, because who dodges with L3? This is something that you may want to change if we can, but we will look into that. We'll look into and see if we can change that button. Uh, like, I would say circle is probably the, uh, the best one for dodge. But L3, L3 to dodge. Probably, if there was a negative about the game, probably that. But this game is so addictive, by the way, guys. It's so addictive. Bit like with me, Dice Folk. I still can't get off Dice Folk. <laughs> right, we're still trying to get to the summit. This is not on the demo, so this is all this is all fresh gameplay. Oh, we've got a we've got a triple there. Right, we made it to Yoshiro. Mega Mario! 
Welcome in. Welcome in, dude. Welcome in. Much love to you, Mega Mario. How's it going, dude? New Capcom got it. Goodness, yes. Yes, man. Yes, Black Ops. Welcome in, dude. Mega Mario, thank you so much for the uh, for the raid. I appreciate that, man. How was your stream? Yeah, we're playing um, Kanitsugame Path of the Goddess, which is uh, which I've been blessed to see before release. And um, I, I love this game. And I feel like more people should even just take a look at the game rather than the synopsis of the game. Uh, and the overview. But welcome in Raiders, welcome in. I'm TS Villa, I'm a variety streamer. I play a bit of everything, so, you know, um, you get a bit of everything here. Um, yeah, how was your streamer, Mega Mario? You're an absolute legend for raiding me. Thank you so much, dude. Um, okay, so this is the start of the game, and it's just teaching us the, uh, the controls here. This isn't on the demo, okay? So it's asking us to, to beat the seat up. Like I've just said, we just said a minute ago about how uh, the dodge button is the left stick. It's the left stick. Right, when they're red, when they're red as well, we can't... We've got, I've got no help. <laughs> so I guess if we could just go all out. I just dodged right into that. When they're red, we can't actually kill them. Okay. We have got health late one in the game, by the way, guys. So, this is... Oh, what's this? The dog. What is this alien dog? Pretty good. Just cold, but too hot, so turned it off over there. Oh, dude. I feel you there. I feel you. My, my flat is really, really cold. And today has been nice, nice and hot. Okay, I don't know if that's his... Is that his AOE? No, that's... We can't, we, we, we can't order these people around. So you, you'll understand in a minute. I guess we can't die either. We <laughs> just got unlimited health. Oh, I just went straight into the blue. Right, don't judge the game on this, guys. Wait until we get it past this this intro part. Because there's more, more mechanics to come. Oh, I'm behind him. Man, he has a lot. We're trying to deplete this thing at the top here. Here he is. Here he is. Do you get any dubs on card? Were you playing Warzone or were you playing Modern Warfare 3? Still can't get on with Warzone. I like the uh, the hecticness of multiplayer with uh, on hardcore as well. Oh, there we go. Did we get him? He's got us. Oh no! Taking my life force. She took everything from me. Oh, I shot him with a cannon. GGs. So he's protected the goddess. Just left him to it. Like these people, it's attacked. It's turned them into those kind of like statue things there. So while we have got the hacking and slashing element of uh, of Soa, then there is a lot more to the uh, the game than that. If you played the demo, if you've seen my videos or anyone else's videos, you'll understand. Here we go, guys. The mountain blessed the people with its riches. But they sought to... I've missed it. I'm not very good at reading out. I wouldn't be... They swept across the land in great hordes. There we go. <laughs> I'm too slow when I'm reading. I'm too slow. 
and stole the mass of the villagers' ancestral deities, spreading defilement in their wake. So we have to purge this defilement. That's what they call it. That is what we do on each level, each area. You have to get to the Tory gates. Some have more than one gates as well. So you have to play it more tactically in that in that way. The maiden Yoshiro and her protector Sora ran, barely escaping with their lives. Now they must venture down the mountain to reclaim the 11 stolen masks. Once they gather them and reach the shrine at the foot of the mountain, the preparations for the ceremony of purification will be complete, clearing the path to the summit. So we're working our way up the mountain here, guys. Down and up. This is the... Uh, it's the logo. It's the logo that's, that appears down the bottom. There you go. <laughs> right on cue. This Miyoko path. View tutorials in the pause menu under the tutorials tab. Um, so we're working our way down here, trying to get 11 masks. Once we get 11 masks, it says then we have to go to the summit. There's a lot of content in this game. Each level is replayable as well. And you'll understand why. With each mask, you get uh, you unlock a new job for the villagers that you save in each level. You can give them a role. Okay. Um, so sometimes there might be. Like, here's an example. In the demo, there's there's a boss in one of the demos, and one of the um, one of the challenges in that is to beat the boss within one minute, under one minute, and it's impossible to do first off. You have to collect all your stuff, you have to collect your masks, uh, level up your character uh, and give him abilities and stuff like that. And then you can come back and do uh, and do where the boss is. So um, there's, there's replayability on this game, 100%, okay? Uh, okay, I'm going to try and explain what I remember about this game. There's going to be loads of stuff that I don't know that we're going to work out together. And if there are people in chat who have played Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess, please let me know if there's anything I'm missing just say it okay so here at the top there where it's got these kind of little icons these little people it's that means there are four villagers to save in this area okay so even though it says it in the script at the bottom save the four villagers and restore the light that was seized by the defilement uh, it also says it at the top as well so if you just if you just like just jump into the stage without reading anything and you just see the four villagers there that means you've got four people to uh, to save here, okay? So this is where the demo starts. So all that, that before this is all new. I think this is unique. I've never I've never seen anything like this. I don't normally play these kind of like tower defense strategy games. Um so I can't really say what it is exactly like, but I haven't seen anyone play anything like this before uh, with this style. We've got that. We've got, our, like I said, we've got our people that we can put down. We can move them in real time as well. But then we also control the main character when he runs around. When he runs around, he, he, he does what we were doing there in the first bit. Okay. So Persia Defilement to receive crystals. Okay, I'll call them orbs because they reminded me of <laughs> Devil May Cry orbs. Okay, they're crystals. I'm going to remember to call them crystals throughout this stream. Okay. So hold circle. I'm playing on the PS5. So we're holding circles, guys. And the top, top right. Okay, so that needs to change. Um... That needs to change because the crystals are up there. Okay, so I'm going to change some of these settings on this overlay because of the game we're playing. Um, it just looks weird now that it's not like there, but it doesn't matter. That's just that's on me. That's on me. Okay, we can't have it down the bottom because I'll explain in a bit why it can't be at the bottom. So this is the village. These little things here, okay, they've got villages in them. They've got villages in them. Okay, so there's there's certain different types of things that you can uh, you can cleanse, and uh, some of them have villages in them. Like these had two. Okay, these are two villages, but you can give them rolls by using the crystals. By using the crystals we have, um, you can see here 
there were many, many rolls. You see, there's an archer there. There's a shaman next to him. There's many rolls, guys. So we're going to give him a woodcutter, but it's used 50 crystals, which means we now have to find more crystals. Villagers can be instructed to defend an area by positioning them via the command screen. Press R1 to open the command screen. So this is what I was talking about. We don't control these as such. We just tell them where to go. We can place them in certain places. Okay. And the main thing is they've got to protect uh, Yoshiro. Okay. They've got to protect her. But also defeat these enemies. So we're just going to move this guy over here. Okay. And we're also going to change the villager. He doesn't have a role at the minute. He's just a random guy. You see the difference. One's got an axe. The other one hasn't. The Seafborn from Defarment launch their attacks at night. Use the di daytime. I was going to say dynamite then. Use daytime to assign villagers roles and prepare for battle. So you can do all this during the day. So when it's daytime, you can give them a role. If you have enough crystals, you can change their roles. Tell them where to go. Collect as many crystals as possible. Collect items. There's items in certain parts of the game as well, um, which I'll show you in a minute. It's like plants and animals and stuff like that. It'll drop items. Uh, even pots. And... You've got to do everything before it, it's, uh, what well, they call it, sunbreak? No, they don't call it sunbreak. That is, <laughs> oh, I keep getting it. Uh, sun, uh, yeah, so daybreak and sundown. Sundown, there we go. So, yeah, that's me, Monster Hunter and me, guys. The amount of times that I had to redo my videos on YouTube because I kept calling it sunbreak. There was one, I even said sunbreak in my video, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sundown and daybreak, okay? They're allowed daybreak because it's not uh, Monster Hunter Rise daybreak, is it? Um, also, when we get crystals, it allows us to use the crystals to carve a path and the crystals will tick down. So below us, below us is the sun will go over. It will go over, that's how long you know, that's how you know. Okay, so we open this. Now we've got an item here. It's a healing with rations. So it's a ration here. So we can heal if we press guard, which is L1. And then if we have a red on that bar, it will say, do you want to heal? Or we can go to the menu here and pick someone. He's not working. We'll go here. Okay. So if we go to the guy here, we press circle, comes up with his stats. His green bar right next to me here. There'll be like a little bit of red if he's been taking damage. We can then use heal. We can then use heal, but it costs a ration. Okay? So we don't want to do that. Right, we're just collecting random crystals here. We're gonna we're gonna there we go. We purge this guy. But while we're here, we don't have anything to give him. But we're just gonna move him down here anyway. So he's out of the way. We're gonna heal this. We'll get crystals for this. But there's no person behind there. We're just crystals, okay? Same with this. No person, just crystals. So you can kind of get an idea of what everything looks like. No person again. So we've actually saved um, three people already. This is what a person looks like, you see? See how different that is? So this is a person here. Which is basically what was... Uh, what was at the intro scene then? Okay, so we're going to move this guy over here. Because leader us here to the Tory gate to Persia defilement that spread throughout the village. Hold circle to carve a path. I'll explain that in a second again. So this is the Tory gate. This is the end of the level. Some levels have more than one of these gates. Okay, guys? So before we do that, as we make our way back to Yoshiro, we're going to crap craft a load of these not craft but like Ooh, what was that no okay it was this make sure you pick up the items because when we have a battle we're going to need them okay guys okay if you just want to get to fighting at the end there is a way of speeding everything up but it will it will tell us will tell us how to do that. We'll get to that part in the game, okay? So we're gonna make this guy a woodcutter. And we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put him over here. 
Right, is there one person who hasn't got a roll? This guy hasn't got a roll. We're making a woodcutter. Uh, we're going to put him over here. Okay, guys? It's saying we've missed something. Okay? So we have to clear a certain amount of these in a level. I think this is the last one. When you do every single one of them in a level, guys, this opens up. Rewards can be attained by the uh, way shrines by purging all the defilements from the area. So we purged everything then. Which means we get a talisman. Leaping fish. Slightly increases so as maximum health. These little bears. Look at these bears. I was calling them bears when we were doing the when we were doing the uh, the um, the first look. I was like, what do these bears mean? <laughs> they just symbolise you human, that's all they do. Um Okay, so we're about to, you see at the bottom here, it's about to be sundown. So we don't need, we don't need Yashiro too close to, there you go. We don't need her too close to the gate because we're going to have to fight, okay? Once the spear path is carved, uh, you automatically move along. So she'll automatically move, um, but you can also tell her to stop. If she... It's too close. It's, going, it's not going to reach the end of the gate. And it's going to be in a place like we're here. It's going to be a place. And she's going to end up at the, at the gate. And we're going to have to fight. We have to protect her. We can tell her to stop. So we can tell her to stop here. We've already carved the path. Okay. But also, just quickly, as it shows you here. If we hold block and press triangle, it speeds up time. But that also, it is now sundown. So we have to we have to protect everyone. Okay, they're all in good positions. I'm gonna move him here. Probably him here. Okay, so we've got an arc. The Seifu come out now. The Seifu come out. These are the enemies. It's a Gaki here. That's how you pronounce it. And it just tells us about the combos that we can do with the uh, the main character Soa. Someone's gonna see this and go Villa. It's not so, it's so. So, I don't know. Until someone tells me it's not, I'm just going to say so. <laughs> okay? But we can't, we can't get them when they're red. You see, when they come out, they're red, so we can't get them there. But it will hurt us. Okay, this is what we do when we've got enemies up in the air. Like that. Still gonna get used to dodge being L L3. Right, you see these guys? They automatically attack in. They're not moving. They sometimes do move forward and backwards, but they're not moving from their posts. And if they do, they end up going back to their posts. But there we go. We pick it up the orbs. I kind of feel bad about this guy over here, so we're just gonna move him there. So he's got some. He's got some boys over there. Right, you see, under under my name, well, well, above my head, sorry. Above my head, we are now got a bit of red. See, so we've got a bit of red there, and it's asking us to heal. That's what we use our rations for that we collected in the village. And if I go next to someone, see this guy here has got red. Hit there, we're right, and there, we're right. Now, this is what I mean by there's a different take on, like, the, you know, the tower defense kind of games. When they attack, they kind of attack in, like, a little dance as well. The guys who are new to the stream that have just jumped in, this is Kanitsugame, Path of the Goddess. And we're basically fighting until the sun goes down. Okay? Until it is daybreak. And you can see here, there's more Seath, which are the monsters. As we go along. So they've just come out of position. But then they've gone back to position. You could just kind of let them fight. Like we could just stand back here. And just let them fight. 
Got this guy here. He missed him. And then what we do basically is we'll tell these guys we're like you guys over here and these guys here. He's there. And then we'll get them to move. This is like the, the tower defense kind of element of the game. I was a big beast here. There's a big beast, so I've just helped him out. So he's gone back to here. This is where he is. Just check that no one has crept up to Yoshiro. But they haven't. There we go, guys. So we have purged. Well, we haven't purged that. We've We've done wave one. Okay. There's a limit of how many rations and crystals we can hold. So at a certain point, if we hold too many crystals at the end of a level, it will go down to whatever it is. Okay. So. We'll tell it to move, but I'll, uh, I'll carve a path from here. I believe she's going to make it. And again, to get her here, just speed up time. And you see her, she's moving. I feel like she's going to make it, but this is close. <laughs> yeah, look how close that was. That was almost uh, sundown. Again. Okay. Now that Yashiro has reached the Tory Gate, the ritual of purification could bring before uh, purify the Tory Gate. So we'll have to, to finish the level or to purify the gate in this case. Hold circle down and they do their little dance. I love the style of this game. I love the style of this game. If I didn't enjoy this game, it would be so obvious. And also the way it would come across when I'm describing the game to you would be so obvious that I wouldn't like it. So these, these are... The reasons why I love promoting uh, new IPs like this. Genitsu. Genitsu Sumi. Genitsu Sumi. I'm so sorry, guys. Butchering the Japanese. Uh, defeat 50 Sieve with Soa. So we did that. Okay. So we defeated 50 enemies. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. It's a little teddy bear, isn't it? It's a little teddy bear. Um, but also another challenge in this level alone, the Miyoko Pass level, is defeat 50 Seif using the villagers. So without you getting involved, let the villagers kill 50 uh, Seif. So that is another reason why you replay this, this level. Um, okay, and assign two uh, villagers two or more different roles. We only had one role to give out to anyone whatsoever. So when you get a new role, you can always come back and play this level and assign two different roles to uh, the villagers and also uh, just let them beat up the uh, the thief and you just sit back and relax so that is that is how you kind of like 100% a level uh, allows villagers to greet Soa Ooh, what's this hmm. to greet them what does that mean well I know what greeting means I also tried to make this character in Tekken. <laughs> Which I will show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute, but I'm going to send it. Oh, no, it's on my Twitter. It's on my Twitter, that's fine. I'll explain what they're doing here, guys. If you recognise this level from what we've just done right now. This is a base. The places you purify have been used as bases to prepare for your next battle. So, this is literally the level we were just in. We're in this level. Look at the deers. All the, uh, we've purged the defilement. Um, you can interact with the deers. Look at them. This is where the, sh the way shrine was. Your man's cleaning it up. I'm just... Yep, yeah, just making noise. I don't think we can get anything from these. No, not not here. Not here. Then we got villagers down here. Everything's all safe. Safe here at all. Uh, also, when we get stuff, we can put them on here. But I... Um, oh, we'll come to that when we see it. 
But the tent, this is this is the most important part of a base, guys. The tent. So Yoshiro's in here. The music, man. Soft music. Okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna pronounce stuff the way I think it's pronounced, guys, okay? So Suba guards, right? Would you pronounce that as Suba? Uh press R2 to unleash the spiritual power. So this is kind of like a special move. So during a a, a level during a level you'll um you'll accumulate kind of uh, special power. Once it reaches maximum your limit break, your special move. Uh, press R2 and it unleashes a, uh, a move. You can have different moves, guys. So for this one here, uh, there are some Seath that have a resist gauge, okay? So this one here drains the, um, the resist gauge on a Seath. Okay, that is more, that's more, I would say, for tougher enemies and bosses. That's what I say. Thank you, Spooky. Thanks for that. I appreciate that, dude. Um, you can view the Amaki scrolls. Emaki? Emaki? Uh, you have attained by talking to Yoshiro at a base and selecting the Emaki gallery. So that's the gallery. Uh, so here's the uh, here's the talismans. Okay, guys? We only picked up one. That's what we got out of the, um, the way shrine. But they're all kind of like, they're all here. Allow villagers to greet Sarah. So we did get this at the end of the level. So we're just going to equip this. Uh, but also, here we can save. We can save with the green. The green saves it. Saves the record of your travel. Stick a save in there, guys. Always save. Uh, but also, we can upgrade our villagers here. So we only have the woodcutter roll. And that is... Okay, so we're not using the crystals. We're using the pouches next to it where it says five. Okay, so we've got crystals, rations, and then the pouches. Um, I think we'll fi find out what they're called again. Masubi. Okay. Consume Masubi and upgrade. So this will upgrade our uh, villager's woodcutter ability. Max, uh, slight, slightly increasing the maximum health. But this is, this is another thing I'm going to tell you now, guys. Okay, so if behind me, behind me again. If you want to redo this and go, hold on a minute, I don't want this. Uh, you can redo it. Now you see at the top there, we now got five back, but where I am, the health isn't available anymore. There's no cost whatsoever. You don't have to use any crystals. You don't have to use any. Uh, anything else at all there's no cost you don't like if you use one you don't lose like one or whatever so if you use five you don't lose one you only get four back you get the full amount back which I'm a big fan of when we do these kind of games we've just finished Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and that is the same thing there we don't lose anything we don't get uh, any punishment for resetting or anything like that so there we go anyone who's going to be a woodcutter is going to have a slight increase in health and um, there is something else here. It's called like the sweets. So there's going to be different foods here. Uh, but it's not here right now. Work with the purified villagers to repair the areas that have been destroyed by the thief. You can receive rewards for doing so. Okay. Tasks at bases. Okay. This wasn't available in the demo. So they took this out of the demo. But this was in the, um, the copy that we actually played at Capcom. So this was here. But in the demo, if you played the demo... You couldn't build anything or repair anything at the bases. Villagers can repair the broken structures in bases. The status of repairs will advance as you complete stages. Okay, so if you put uh, a certain amount of people here, so we got three workers. We put three workers here. Now they're going to repair this, and for it to go over time, we have to. Um, we have to. Well, it says behind me. Sorry, guys. Everything's behind me. It says behind me here. One, we have to do it one stage. That is the repair time. So we have to go out 
and do a um, and do a battle here. This one here is this is one stage again, but it's going to be for two workers. We only have one worker left, so there's no point doing that yet. Okay, so that's that's that one. Okay, so we've already put three of there. Let's see if there's one. Is, is there one worker? There's two workers here. If there's one worker, we can get everything like down in one. Okay, there's two. Two there. So there's still some stuff to do on the bases. Two, uh, two there. So we will leave them. There's no point putting one there, is there really? If they need two. We're going to leave them as it is. I know we can get two done in one go. But we've already uh, we've already put three in there, okay? Right, here we go, guys. On to the next stage. So what do people think of Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess? What do you think of this game so far? This is... I, I, know, I know for a fact a lot of people are going to go... I, I didn't even think about playing this game. I'd never even thought about playing a game like this. Uh, but now you've seen the game, what do you think of it? Do you think it's like it's going to be something that you would play? I was definitely sold. As soon as I played it, I was definitely sold. Okay, this is a boss. This is a boss now, guys. We could either go back into here or with the base or play it again. Oh, yes. Actually, a Mega Mario. Yes, so I forget this because I'm playing on PlayStation 5. This is available on Xbox Game Pass. If you've got Game Pass, you can get the full game. So grab it on Xbox Game Pass, guys. Uh, this is called Ominous Presence. Okay, so this is going to be a boss. This is where we're going to get to use our ability. Okay, Presence of a Powerful Seath. Okay. Go to the chest first. That is what I would suggest. And we got 200 crystals from the chest. And we got three rations. So now we've got eight rations. We're absolutely loaded. We're stacked here, guys. We've got four villagers. These are the four villagers that we've just... Uh, um, what's the word? Purged. You say purged? Okay. But we've only got the woodcutter ability. I've got a real itchy nose, guys. I'm trying not to sneeze. Um, it's been bad today. When the weather's nice, my hay fever's bad. <laughs> um, again, Mega Mario, thank you so much for the raid, dude. I appreciate you so, so much. This is the boss area. So you can always tell it's not like you do a... Um, it's not like you do one of those villages and then just end up in one of these areas. You'll always get a prompt. I am made to believe you were always to get a prompt. We're not going to skip a cutscene. <laughs> GG's. The art of dancing. But we can get into this. We can get to the boss area, but we we don't initiate the fight yet. Obviously, the the, the door's closed, and our aim is to protect Yoshiro. Leave her there. She's walking around barefoot as well. You see that? What we're doing is we're setting up our characters. These are our NPCs that we're obviously controlling, guys. We're setting them up. Ready for the boss fight. The boss doesn't actually start until you pass this line here. Okay? So if you want to redo anything, if you want um, if you want one of them to kind of like protect her, you can have him here. Like, and then he'll come over here. Again, this is like the tower defense side of things. So now we've crossed the line. The boss is coming out. The big man's here. Here's the big man, guys. So just keep an eye. He's going to like throw stuff at you. He's a big angry giant. Okay, so above me, above me is the, uh, this is our special ability here, guys. 
You can stun an enemy by depleting this resist gauge uh, with certain attacks. Um, again, I think... Maybe put it here. Put it there. I don't want to put it below me because that's where the thing is. Um, okay, so... This will deplete the resist gauge. You see, under... Where it says attack order, when that goes, there's a little bar that's kind of flashing here. Okay, so if we press... R1, we press R1, you can see below me, we can tell him all to defend or to attack. So now he's down, we'll ask him all to attack. Even your man that was protecting. Right, he's calling, he's calling his mates now. Defense order is a command that sends all villagers to Yoshiro's side to defend her. So again, what we'll do, we'll do that and we'll tell them to defend. Now watch them all go. they should do is you see they're defended there okay so now they're all gone we're gonna attack oh he got me okay so he's got me here I'm gonna use a ration to heal now the reason why I'm all out of attacking is because I don't want him to get too close. He's always dead. GG's. Now Yoshiro. doing something there. There she is. GG's guys. GG's. So we could heal them, but we're at the end of the level anyway. So we're going to pick up this. This is what we're going to need. I think we need 11 of these. I think that's what it was saying. I said earlier about how one of the challenges to do that within one minute, which is Impossible without the extra skills and without the uh, upgrading the uh, the villagers. So now we've got an archer. We've got the archer mask, which means we can actually do woodcutters and our archers as well now. Um, well, we collect these and then we display them at the start of the bases. This is what I was showing you earlier. We've got five uh, masubi. Masubi? There you go, look. Defeat within one minute. So again... We have to come back to that once we've leveled everything up uh, a little bit, a little bit more. So that is Bioko Pass and the and the boss. Repair work at the base is completed. Bases have completed repairs will be marked with a special icon. Go to the base to approve the repairs and receive a reward. Okay, so we are going to the base. Make sure you press square, not not X. Uh, enter the base. So there's still some stuff there that we need to do. Okay, these guys, we've confirmed the repair, so we get five Masubi for that. GG's, fireworks and everything. But their work isn't over. We're going to send two there, and then we're going to send another two over... Sorry, guys. Over here. Okay, because we've only got four villagers. That's what we're doing. This is where the plaques are being. Okay, so they're going to be on display here. You can view the pla plaques and just basically rotate them. See what's on the back. Have a look at the model. Look at the state. Of that. Look at his tongue. Or his gum. Whatever it is. Look at it. <laughs> oh, I think the graphics are amazing on this as well. For, the, for this style of game as well. Uh, right, here we go. So we go back into here. Now we can upgrade... Okay, we've got 20 crystals. 
offerings of Yashira. Offering Yashira will occasionally appear in the tents at bases. Check in at each base regularly to, to accept them. The amount of offerings will increase at base repairs are complete. Oh, will increase as base repair. Okay, so that's new. That's not in the demo, so that's new as well. Okay, so we picked up another talisman. So we can change... We didn't. I think I just lied to you. We didn't pick up another talisman. It was the plaque we picked up, wasn't it? And the archer's mask. Yeah. So there's so many different talismans here. At the minute, we can only equip two. And those two are the ones that we've got. Okay. Um, we can't... We still can't change anything yet. These are the special abilities here. We can't change anything yet. Uh, we can save it here, or we can upgrade. So we can either upgrade the archer now. Or the woodcutter. So we've got 10 points. 10 points. We're going to be using both. Okay, you can see here. We can give the archer slightly more health. Right, now he's a badass. Look at him go. Look at him go. Slightly increases attack power. Now, if we wanted to... I don't know, say... If we wanted to get rid of the their upgrade and give the archers more now we can use the 10 there oh we could have used it anyway I thought we only had a <laughs> oh don't listen to me guys I thought we only had a five left that was all so there we go right let's give him back the upgrade so we've got slightly more health on both and then the archer was going to be a little bit more powerful uh, because they have range okay so now we're going to mix up our our fighting style. Yes, yeah, so that's going to give us a plaque. That's going to give us a plaque. They're going to give us wasubis. Okay. Uh, what does that say? Why does it say repair the base? Oh, because I'm here. Okay. Right, let's go to the next stage, guys. Let's go to the next stage. Now, different stages have different amounts of Tory gates, so this may have more than one Tory gate. The first stage had one. There's your boy with a the hammer. They don't talk. It's just sign language and dance. There you go. There's your dance. He is going to fix. Checking the map. Use it wisely to utilize the surroundings. When up against C, prepare for battle effectively by checking the stage layout. So you don't want people to come up from behind you or to go down the little alleyways. Um, and also, while you're looking at the map as well, you can see the markers. You can see the markers of where the enemies are. Okay, so... We've got six rations. Here's a guy here. Now we can we can do an archer. So you see we've got the woodcutter here. The archer. But he's got increased uh, health and increased power as well. Um, don't forget the guys here. Sometimes uh, purging these defilements, these are these are gonna be like in random places. Right, here's a person here. I'm going to give him a woodcutter. But also, the way shrine is there. Wild animals and rations. So if we if we purge the wild animals, they sometimes drop us items. And in this case, rations. But they'll just run around. They'll run around. So we purge that, that's fine. See what's here. There's this. There's another one there as well. We missed him. They are faster than so are they. Of course they would be. Probably going to disappear now. Oh, we got him. We got him just in time. Well, there's a ration. Remember, grab everything. Grab everything. It's now done. I think this is a, it's a proper chilled kind of game. 
Hey, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Right, here's here's another person. He's been purged. Right. I'm gonna get I'm gonna another archer. We've got two archers and one woodcutter. This is the gate. So what we need to do is I don't know, put him up here. No, put him down here. Oh, here's the archer. Put the archer up here. So he can still do what he needs to do. Maybe put the guy down here. There we go. There's only three. See, there's only three. Which tells you that there is another part of the level. Because we need to get four people. Uh, okay. Increase the attack power and movement speed of villagers within a range for a period of time. So this is another kind of special ability, limit break kind of thing. We are going to we're going to equip this because this is more helpful than the um, resist gauge. Look at them all. They're all ready. Barriers will hold the sea at bay, but they will be destroyed if they take too much damage from sea attacks. Okay, so your man at the start. He's going to help us with the barrier. But at the minute, we have to carve a path. I don't think we're going to have enough time to get to the gate. So we're going to get her here. Speed her up. Get some crystals while I'm here. about to go down guys it's about to go down I didn't post going live did I now live there you go So we positioned the archers. <coughs> Shiba, Shibakaki, is that what it said? So she's up there, so that's fine. As long as we make sure they don't come down the side. The archers are doing their business. You see? Because we've upgraded the powers. If I let them do what they need to do there, then I can just kind of sweep up here. I'll sweep up here. Right, these crystals don't go away, by the way. But on the map, you can see where it's red. On the map, you can see where it's red. That means there is uh, someone there. But we're all good. We're not halfway yet, though. I'm going to move the woodcutter though. I'm going to move him like here. Because he seems to be like out of the way. I'm going to move this archer as well. Here. 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 Right, this archer is taking a, it's taking a bit of a beating, so we're going to use a ration to heal him. Because this guy up here is absolutely launching it. He's launching it. Hey, Flux, welcome in, dude. Welcome in, man. We're playing Kanitsugame, Path of the Goddess. Have you played the demo yet? Have you seen my posts and my videos? This is basically what the game is. He's healing again, man. What's all that about? He's in the wrong position. I think this guy needs to also be up here. We can get him up here. We'll get uh, we'll get your man here. There's no way I've just healed him and then he's like absolutely nailed again. 
I've seen it now happen, but the game does look fun. Yeah, it, lo it looks, honestly, it's, it is a game I never even thought about playing, which is the reason why I love promoting this game, because it's a new IP from Capcom, so it's not like a, uh, a long-standing Capcom game that everyone knows about. And the genre of it might throw people off and, and put people off the actual game itself. So I've, um, I want to do my bit in promoting it because it is a much more fun game than the description says it is. There we go. Daybreak. GG's, GG's. Look at them all. Look at them all. They're all happy. They're all happy. Good old Capcom. Tell me about it, man. Absolutely love them. Got a lot of time for them. They have a lot of time for me. So, uh, thank you guys so much. So, we need to get Yashiri to the gate. Okay? But, as you notice, these are comebacks. So we can get some more crystals. Um, to be fair, this guy didn't really do anything. Should we make him an archer as well? We'll have three archers. Um, we'll get Yoshiro over there. Yeah, this is what I was trying to find. Animals. We grab some animals because they're going to drop some more items. There we go. There's another ration there. We purge the animal. Right, she should have enough to get to that gate. She's at the gate. You can cover with Shiro's health when purging a Tory gate between two stages. Heal her wounds. Okay, so if she gets battered in the first first stage, then we can heal her this way. We'll heal her this way. Okay, so see this little kind of weird thing here? We've got to keep it in this circle. Keep it in this circle while they do their dance. It's kind of a bit of resistance on the stick. But keep it there. Bam, done. So that's that area done. But we still got another section. So that's part one. That's part one of that area. Okay, it's almost... Uh, repairing contraptions. Capital command to repair broken contraptions. Uh, this is probably easier here. We're coming up to daybreak. Okay, so... Uh, we have to have another fight again, guys. We have to have another fight again. There is... Archer. Archer. And Archer. What we probably should have done was repair this one here. Okay. Grab that. It is about to be another battle again, guys. We ain't gonna have time. Right, the Tory gate's open. The Tory gate's Kyle, welcome in, man. Now we've got flying enemies, which is why we need archers, but we also we've also got this move. Hold on. This move. Long range fighters such as archers are effective against flying seat. See that so we've got that move. Which is that. Look at them dancing as they're shooting. Look at them. Look how cool it is. We'll get these. Now these arches. But we need to watch these guys. These guys here. They launch. They launch stuff. So you're going to be launching stuff at the arches. How are we looking here, guys? So I'm going to check on their health. So these two here, these two here, probably this guy, maybe go back a bit. But he's like right in the way of the path. 
but they are pinging them. That's me. These are the guys. These are the guys. The big ones are the ones that are after the thing. I'm all good. I'm all good, Carl. Thank you so much. How is uh? How is you? How are you doing? How's your Friday been? I've been mega busy at work, guys. See, see them. That's what he was launched. He just launched that out of him. But he's fine. Oh, you got him. You got him. So we're doing our bit. I'm doing my bit. We're looking at the map. At the map as well. That way. The map. There's no red behind us, so we don't have to look to see if Yoshiro is being attacked by like one of these paths. I need to grab that later. And that. Right, how are we looking, guys? I just wanted to get the. I want to get the big ones out of the way. These guys are fine. That's my job. My job is to get rid of these big guys here. Got him. Got him on the volley. Okay, we're checking their health. My health is fine. Their health. I mean, we could, we could use the thing. But... It is almost daybreak. Okay? I've got a special, but it is almost daybreak. I'm just going to save that special. Right, there we go. So it's now daybreak. The fans are loving it. The crowd's gone mental. Now we've got until sundown again to... Oh, we've got him, we've got him. To set up for the next battle if Yoshiro doesn't get to the gate. Okay, we have carved a path. We will carve a path, I say. Make sure you grab the um, the pots as well. The pots are important. They'll have items in there. Okay, there is one, but we are missing one. Ah, okay. So clearing obstacles, we can tell some of our villagers to, to come in and just jump in and, and uh, unlock that. Uh, is this the last one? It's the last one. But I don't think we can get... Yeah, we can't get to the talisman. I'm doing well. My Friday's been good. Took my kids to the park this afternoon. Just chilled. Oh, nice. Is this, it's the holidays. Is it the holidays now? Is today the first day of the holidays? Or should I say Monday? Okay, so to get him, get him over here. There you go. They've done it. They've done it. They've opened it up. We can grab this. There's another talisman here, guys. With a creepy eye. Look at it. Look how creepy that is. Slightly increases the villagers' maximum health. So I'm going to equip this. Uh, we're going to have it here. Okay. Greeting, greeting villagers isn't important. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Let's increase their maximum health. So we've done everything on this level. Okay. But what we haven't done is... This guy here. Okay. We've got 12 rations. So we may as well heal everyone. We're pressing square to heal there. You see their health next to me. There's a bit of red. Sorted. Okay, so he needs to do that. He needs to get a jog on. While he does his work, and we need to get and carve the path. We've got 699 orbs. Again, guys, you can carve the path. But if you're worried that she's going to get there, and then we're going to have to start a fight, you can tell her to stop. Okay, she's not going to reach it in time. We're going to get her to move. And then she stopped. She stopped there. There you go. Uh, what we've got here, we've now got a barrier. We didn't have the barrier here last time. So we now have a barrier. Which are going to protect 
our archers. So we could have them like here. Now they've got to get through the barrier. Oh, you see, look, they've got to get through the barrier now. Oh, this, okay, and I was saving up, sorry, hold on two seconds. I was saving up my special, because this is the special now. We changed the special, which means we've given them a power buff. We've given them a power buff now. Instead of the resist gauge, we now give them a power buff. I'm still pressing circle to dodge. Right, I'm checking. Nothing's gone behind. These guys are absolute stallions. Look at their health. Their health is fine because they're behind the barrier. Everything that's being thrown is going to hit the barrier instead. We're mixing it up. Has anyone gone down here? No one's gone down here. The archers are insane. The archers, they're living the dream. They're trying to go round so they can kind of attack. But the barrier is there. Here we go. We got him first. Carl, have you heard of Kanitsugame Path of the Goddess at all? This is a new IP from Capcom. But I'm uh, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. I've been blessed to uh, to have played this before release. And uh, the way it was described wasn't something I, I, I thought I was going to enjoy, if I'm honest with you. Okay, so this is basically telling us what we said earlier. Oh, thank you for the follow, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I have not. I just know card. Yes. Yes. Still, well, just focus. Focus on learning card, dude. Focus on learning card. You'll get good. You'll get good. Don't worry about that. Um, one day. One day, you'll be the pinnacle of uh, <laughs> of um, of card. So basically, this is basically what, what, what I was telling you earlier about when they're red, they're invincible. You have to wait for them to, to fully um, um, appear. Or you'll get hit as well. If you're in that little purple red bit, you'll get, you'll get some damage. So you see what they're trying to do. Because the barrier is up, the carpenter that we saved at the start of this level, they're trying to go round. Okay, because we've got special again. This gives them all buffs, increases their attack. Probably just watch them do their magic. Watch them. Absolute heroes. We just we're just watching them really. Look at them. Look at them go. I mean, your man's. Yeah, he's living dangerously. This guy here. He's living dangerously. He's in, inside the barrier. Now, once he's done, he should go back, but he's not going back. <laughs> This guy here, he should come like back here. But he's through the barrier anyway. Here's the carpenter. We can check the barrier. So the barrier that we uh, we, we put up has took a little bit of damage, but we can ask the carpenter to just uh, just do that. Um, we've got everything else again, so we just need to speed Yoshiro to the Tory Gate. That barrier is now up. Okay, is she going to make it in time? She is near me, and the time below. Look at her skipping. Look at her skipping there. She's made it to the gate, so we can purge the defilement on this gate, on this Tory gate. Uh, one game at a time. I want to be the Ash of Pokemon of Call of Duty. Yes, do. The very best. No one ever was. <laughs> That's where Geeky comes in. Geeky comes in and sings it for you. There you go. Purged. Defilement purged. GGs. And we've got a scroll here for the hunter. And another five Masubi. Butchered again. Don't use any rations. That is another thing on here. Assign villagers three or more different roles. We only had two to give them, so we couldn't do it. But we have got two roles to give now, so we could do the first level again. And, um, and watch them. They need to do... 50 Seif and two different roles. So we could complete 100% to that first level uh, and destroy all pots. So I missed some pots then. 
Um, yeah, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. And here's the boss. Here's the boss, guys. But, this is the base, and this is a base. Okay, let's, let's jump into this base. Let's have a look at this base. Do we do a base at a time, or do we um, mix it all up? There's some chickens. Look at these chickens. Material to repairs. Okay, this wasn't on my playthrough that I was playing, and this is not on the demo either. So repairs require materials to complete. Search for materials around the base and command the villagers to carry them. Use for building. Okay, request pick up. And then what? Two and a one. There's a dog here. Most importantly, guys. Whoa! Put that sword away. Most importantly, there's a dog we can interact with. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. There's a rabbit over here. Look at that. Kunitsugame, Capcom, putting in the uh, the mechanics that matter. Right, that's two workers. Right, the thing is, though, I'm asking them to pick stuff up. But... Ah, oh, okay, 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 I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay, so this is... It's two, uh, one stages, but it needs two, uh, three, oh, three, three material. So there's going to be more, more, yeah, more material somewhere. I'm with you now. Up here, maybe? There's another rabbit. No. Oh, we're less, oh, yeah, it's different villages for different people, isn't it? But he's there. So we can give these guys jobs. This guy here. This is only one person, so we'll give him that. We need to find... Oh, there we go. So there's not enough... There's not enough people. Uh, there's two workers there. I guess they'll just put down the, uh... yeah, here we go, sorted, sorry guys, that really confused me then, so we've got 10 crystals here, I think 500 is the maximum we can have, uh, right, so did we pick up another talisman, we did, it was this eye, but now we've, we've equipped the eye, which uh, increases the villager's maximum health, that's fine, um, right, okay, so here, we changed to increase the attack power. Uh, it looks like we've got a boss. Okay. So we could switch back to this again, which is our our special move. And this will uh, deplete the resist gauge. We have five uh, wasubi to use. Now, do we want to increase, increase the shooting range of arrows and can now use fire arrows, depletes the enemy's resist gauge. Okay. So... Do we want to reset the woodcutter? So then we now have 10. We've now got 10. And do we want to use fire arrows? The answer is yes. Of course we want to use fire arrows. And it also helps with the resist gauge as well. So we've got our special ability, but we've also got these as well. Okay. The next one, 10, 10, 15, and 25. So it is. it does encourage you for these uh, Wasubi things to play and play and play over and over again different levels okay so we're on Miyoko Pass then okay I'm gonna press start because we haven't done we haven't okay I've pressed start before but we haven't looked at it uh, we've got status this is the menu again we're reviewing the game guys we're reviewing the game we're showcasing the game for you guys for you to play you've got to have a look at everything um, okay so the maximum we can hold is 500 uh, five rations as well so we had or would you have like eight rations in the last thing so as soon as we finished it went back down to five uh, but you can pick up as many as you want but once you leave the level it, it's gone okay the um perform two consecutive ground-based attacks while not powerful this is the resist gauge this is what we've got here and then these are the talismans we've got so ev eventually we're going to unlock more special abilities and more talismans uh, we're gonna. Uh, these are the roles that we've unlocked. Um, 
Okay, so we've got stage select as well, which returns the stage select screen. That's just going to be if we go to Wasabi Pass or not. Was wasabi? Wasubu? Load tutorial here. It did tell us to go to tutorial to look at everything. Um, the thing is, dodge. Dodge. It's going to take a bit of time, guys, to learn dodge, which is the left stick. Left stick in. And you can see the tutorials here. If you've forgotten how to do certain stuff. Um, oh, sorry. I want to look at the options. Let's look at the options here. Um, so we've got the controller settings. Change the control settings. If you want to change it. Um, I'm kind of... I'm used to, like, dodge being L3. Uh, but if you want to play this game and start off, you could probably have, like, I don't know, dodge being circle. Which, uh, you know, which would help. For new players but i've kind of i've kind of got it in my head now that dodge is l3 um so i don't want to change that interact circle that's obviously when you're interacting with the uh the gates and everything like that um we've got the cameras stuff here that we want to change we want to change any of this motion sentence sens uh, sensors is on um movement speed then we've also got here if we want to change the priority which we did uh, we did quality rather than performance um the brightness as well Field of depth, motion blur. I know a lot of people don't like motion blur. Um, I've seen this on my Twitter uh, quite a lot over the last year or so. So if you if you're not a fan of motion blur, if you get sickness, uh, if you can't play games that don't have it, uh, then at least you've got the option here to turn it on and off. Okay. Um, so you can have the hood on if you want or off. Obviously, I I like to have the map. This is why I have my overlay as it is. I like to have my map, and I also like to have the um, uh, the the thing down the bottom to let me know if it's daytime or nighttime. Health bar, we could change the, the style of the health bar. We've got the lines, which is the kind of like the, what are they called, the banners, or we've just got the little uh, the sliders here. Um, I think for the style of game, have the banners, but obviously you can see more of the game if you turn them off or have it simple. Um, you got in game guide that kind of tells you what to do. Uh, the mini map, audio, pretty standard stuff. Ambience volume. I can hear the ambience with these headsets, and it's absolutely awesome. Uh, subtitles, just in case you got the uh, the game on low, have subtitles. Speaker name display. I'm gonna say yes. We'll have. Uh, I, I like. I like to have the um, the characters' names. So that I can kind of remember what the characters are called. Uh, for example, like like. Like, I remember when Game of Thrones came out, I watched Game of Thrones. I really, really enjoyed Game of Thrones. At the end of it, I was like, I don't know half of these people's names. <laughs> Which is also why I love subtitles and anime and stuff like that. Because I'm like, oh, it tells me the person's name. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, you've got the option to have them off or on with the, uh, the speaker's names. Closed captions, you can have them on or off and on as well if you're just playing in, you know, in, in quiet. Subtitle sizes is pretty standard. Uh, do you want the background on it? Do you want it lighter? Do you want it like that? Do you want it off? I always have it off, or at least have a little shadow. I think I've got a shadow on Dragon's Dogma 2, which uh, as we're playing the Capcom game, we uh, I may as well mention that. There we go, guys. That's that. We've got everyone to repair a base. We need to wait for a. We need to clear a stage. We need to clear a stage. Okay, I want to go back to this base. Because we're going to go back in. And these villagers are different to the other villagers. Okay? So each base, everyone you save in a in a, in a a level on that base, they're stuck on that base. So it's not like these villagers won't go to another base. Um, so they're here. Fireworks again. Which means they're available to do another base. Right, these guys are done. We got five wasubi there. Wasubu, not wasubi. There you go. You guys are there. And it's just this one here. That's it. Okay, so it's only going to take one stage as well. So when we get the next stage done, that's that one. There's nothing else. Nothing else available here. On the off chance. We do use a woodcutter. 
We've got 40 crystals there, but we still got. We can only use five, 500, so it doesn't really matter. On the off chance we use a wood cutter, we're just going to put a uh, an upgrade on there, as we've got five anyway. We can't use any more for the archer. Right, let's have a look at this boss then. There's a boss has popped up. Here, this is the boss. There's an ominous presence. Let's see what this is all about. Prepare and go forth. Again, guys. Pick up the crystals first before you do anything. And uh, we got okay, so we've got three more rations and we got another 200 coins. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna give them. We're gonna give them. Archers. Because these are these are powered up. They've also got fire and they've also got the resist as well. They're all gonna be archers. We can as long as we've got enough crystals, we can change them on the fly as well, okay? I'll show you what I mean in a bit, okay? Okay, so we are going to look 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 how high these are so these this 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 level here is designed for archers i think we should have two up here and then i'm going to go free roaming down the bottom maybe like him here and i'm going to free roam on the bottom here okay so everyone's going to be in position they're all ready. And I'm going to go in here. I don't know what this boss is, guys. Oh, look at this guy. I ain't even going to pretend that name. I'm going to butcher that name. So this is this is designed for archers. Look, he's not even on the ground. Okay. L3. Oh, here we go. So he's now he's now near me. I'm gonna take some of the resist gauge off him. Slash, slash, hack and slash it, hack and slash. And then we've also got the the villagers here. They're taking the resist gauge off him. So square triangle. Oh, just dodged. Unstoppable attack. These are safe. Attacks that, so we'll be able to unable to guard. So just basically move out of the way. You'll see a line of attack. He's got everything stuck there. But look, he's, he's, he's less than half now. Oh, he's got me. So we're going to heal. Oh, I've just, uh, I've just healed myself. But he's stuck. There's no like easy ability or anything like that. I think it's just a standard ability, and then if you struggle on a level, you just uh... oh, that. Um, you just um, you just redo a level and upgrade your character. He's almost there. He's almost there. We got him. We got him. Go on, Yoshiro. And what I'm going to do is... It doesn't matter now, does it? I was going to ask him all to, like, regroup. GG's. Now, we've got another mask. And with a mask comes another class or another role. Remember to call it roles. But what have we unlocked? The demo, we had the shaman on there. 
Oh, this well, we had this as well, but I couldn't pronounce this. Ascetic, ascetic. Is that how you say it? This is the thing I couldn't pronounce. Skilled in the art of demon binding, the uh, whatever it is creates a barrier to that barrier that will temporarily slow down the movement. So this will slow down an enemy for us to then just annihilate, basically. I don't know how you pronounce it. There's a Masubi again there. Defeats this within one minute thirty seconds. Yeah. So again, replayability, guys. First one was one minute. This one's uh, one minute and thirty. We've unlocked a cavern here. So that's two levels. And we've got three three rolls. Well, let's jump into the base. We're going to jump into the base, finish all this stuff off here, guys. Uh, again, I want to thank Omega Mario for the uh, for the raid. You're an absolute legend, dude. Uh, King of Cod. King of Cod. And as he previously mentioned as well, this is available on Xbox Game Pass as well. So... If you're worried about parting with your money, it is on Xbox Game Pass. All repairs are complete. All repair work in the village has been completed. Head to the tent to receive a reward. Okay, so we we have reward. Uh, we've repaired everything. So we rewarded everything then. It's such calming music, man. After a hectic day, I'm listening to this music. Repairs completion reward slightly increases Yoshiro's maximum health. That's fine, but we have a job to make sure she doesn't get hit. Okay. Right, so, but we also, we can also carry 600 crystals now after the battles. And we've got another 60 crystals there. Um, okay, shrines. We didn't do any shrines, so that's fine. We've got 10. Okay, so we've got 10 up here. Increases, uh, greatly increases maximum health. Archers. Archers, I tell you what, guys. Archers are... Unbelievable. 15 and 25 are the next ones. Okay, so we've got we've got four. We've got it to level four. Okay. Uh, these slightly increases maximum health. These can be quite good if they are slowing down enemies. These would be good on boss fights, I think. If they work on boss fights. Um, so there we go. That's uh, that's that. Just telling me to be careful. I will be, be careful. Don't I? I will be careful. There you go. Not I will be. Be careful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So fireworks there means it's all done. That base is complete. Now we've got to go back into here because there was two things that we had uh, repairing in here, didn't we? Where are you guys? Oh, hello, mate. This guy here. Jeez, jeez, dude. Can you pick this up, though? Oh, you have to do them all in one go. Okay. Uh, the boys. The Mitchell brothers. GG's, guys. Can one of you grab this? So, was there only three? You grab that. I feel like I'm missing someone. Hey, Fuzzy, welcome in. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. We'll get all three of them here. Oh, this is the big, big base. Look at that. Oh, he's done up here. There he is. I knew there was another one somewhere. So we've got a plaque with a carpenter plaque. Um, mm -mm. Okay, so we've only got one. This was a two, wasn't it? This is a two. We've only got one left. So we're going to have to leave him. And they will do that. Okay. Sorted. I guess. We've got another 40 crystals. GG's. But we've got another five there. Oh, we can. We can increase it. Okay. We'll stick it on the woodcutter. GG's, guys. GG's. Fuzzy, you pre I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Fuzzy is an absolute legend. She's awesome. She's always out and about as well. One thing I noticed about that. She's always out and about. I don't think she's ever been at home for longer than a day. <laughs> 
Right, let's uh, let's jump in and save from here then, guys. I just wanted to show you this. This was more of a showcase of the game. Uh, we've already almost, almost done two hours, but we were messing around with the camera. What do you think to the new camera? This is the Facecam Pro. It's not Pro. It's the Facecam Mark II from Elgato. Um, let me know what you think of this. I need to sort the background out, though, because the background is... Um, it's dark. The background's dark. I don't know if that is to do with my lighting. I'm here. I'm looking all right on here. But yeah, I'm not too sure, yeah. And Mega Mario, thank you again so much, dude. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Thank you for people who stayed with the raid. I'm TS Villa, a variety streamer. I play a variety of games. Next Thursday, I'm going to do a schedule, but next Thursday we are playing Fortnite on stream. Next Thursday, because we're doing a fundraising stream for Make-A-Wish UK. So it's for Wish 200 week. And it's just another fundraiser again. We're going to support a great cause. And hopefully raise some money so that we can get some wishes made for uh, these children. 